It's the Class 419 MLV. Hey guys, it's Dave again, the train guy from The Hobby Man by Hearns. And yes, we are going to do another Bachman release again for our OO uh, customers and viewers. Uh, and we are doing possibly what I think is the ugliest piece of rolling stock I've looked at or presented this year. It's the Class 419 MLV. Now, I'm only fairly new to learning about these, but I believe they're a luggage or a parcel van, self-propelled, and they operated over the southern network, so they had the third side rail to pick up their power. I know they worked their way down to meet the uh, ships from continental Europe and the ferries from France. So they're rather interesting, but as my mum would say, as probably as about as pretty as the back end of a bus. Uh, in that, we'll do the unboxing. Uh, and surprisingly, with our UK uh, modelers that shop with us frequently, they've actually proven to be quite popular, surprisingly. I think probably the uglier, the more interesting. Now the ones we'll be presenting today are, are sound equipped, so obviously DCC. And we've got two liveries. We've got the uh, British Rail Green, and I will show you that one in a minute, and the uh, later British uh, blue and grey livery used throughout the 60s and the 70s. But anyway, yeah, but before we go any further, yeah, I just find them really interesting. And uh, the fact that they picked up from a third rail, which would have been the Southern Networks, uh, electrified lines, and they also had a battery operate, or they could operate on, on batteries. So when they were on the docks um, beating the ships, they could actually be uh, driven onto the, uh, on, alongside the ships for unloading or unloading or reloading, uh, which is interesting. So electrification by a third rail, battery powered and they were also diesel powered too or they had the ability to switch on a diesel generator and be self-propelled so they're a self-propelled parcel van and i think another part of their function was that they could be coupled onto the back of an express train heading back towards london or from london so it's a rather unique but interesting uh piece of rolling stock anyway for the unboxing and again, we'll always go through what you with what you get. You get the usual sort of uh, maintenance instructions um, that are. And if you ever need to pull it apart or get to a decoder or something, there's obviously lots of explanations. And I always find backman stuff easy to work on. And this is really good. You get a really, no, let's get that into focus. You actually get, oh, there we are. You get something like 26 functions and we've got a lot of sound functions. Uh, you get directional lights, sound on and off, engine start, brake, non-latching, air horn high, air horn various, heavy engine sound, southern region whistle, third rail arcing, coupling noises, various, flange squeal, guards whistle, driver's response, buffering up, uh, you even get a buzzer noise, which I don't think you'd hear from the outside, but it's, it's good operational value. Guards response, uh, driver's double buzzer, guards response, uh, luggage loaded and unloaded, AWS horn, which I'm not completely sure what that is, air tank drained down, and obviously you can fade this, the noises in and out, compressor sounds, uh, syntax valve, windscreen wipers, handbrake station announcements, and handbrake set and release. So it's a really good sound equipped model. I mean, this is just actually showing uh, where models are going, uh, especially the more bestowed ones. It really is a premium model. Okay, the bit you're hanging out for, the unboxing. Okay, the usual ice cube packaging, nothing. Uh, new there. And always, if like most stuff from Buckman, you'll always get a few bits and pieces. This time not detailing bits, just a blanking plate for if you ever were to um, take the sound decoder out and just run it as a DC model. I don't know who would do that, but they provide it. Like I said, this, this particular model 
is no real oil painting. Uh, you'd actually almost confuse it as a as a brake fan. Yeah, there we go. Uh, no sprung buffers, but you get all these hoses, you get uh, wipers, uh, and the camera is not going to pick this up. But you actually get a, a bit of interior detail. You actually get look what appears to be like a mesh. And I think these things would have had a, an element of security about them and the uh, transporting mail and luggage and bank documents and so forth. It really does look good. Uh, like I said, it may be interesting. I mean, it may be ugly, but it is interesting. You've got a guard's compartment there and you've got a wealth of underfloor detail. Yeah, actually, yeah, the mesh on the windows, which you probably won't see. I'll just see if it's around it. But there is actually mesh in there and there's actually provision there uh, the, the cab compartments there you can just pick out the color but believe me you could probably put a driver in there okay so well, anyway we'll have a bit of a play with it um because it is just uh, essentially a single loco it's obviously just driven at one side but it does have couplings so i would say you could uh, realistically attach it to the back end of a train uh, or run it with other multiple units. I guess they would probably would have run in pairs, but anyway, we'll have a bit of a play with it. Sounds like a Melbourne tram, <laughs> a W tram. There we go, brake screw. And it's got these rather peculiar sort of a light. It doesn't even look like a light, but they do illuminate. Front and back, so it's either red or it's clear, and you probably won't pick that up in this video. But we'll just have a bit more of a play with the sounds. <laughs> Had to do that. Uh, four various horns. Uh, Southern Regions Whistle, which is function six. Sounds like a paddle boat. Directional, and anyway, we'll just play and wheel arcing. Or flange arcing. Yeah, the sound of it hissing and crackling. Yeah. Yeah, that would have, would have been these orange pickups on the side here. Sounds a bit creepy actually. Sounds like it's running over something, like bubble wrap. And we'll try another one. We'll try function. I love that noise. <laughs> Sounds creepy. And finishing off with guards whistle. I could be here all day playing full sounds. But anyway, that is the BR green one. And like I said, there's also the gray one. And if it comes down to a beauty award between the two, I'd say the green one and the BR green is probably the prettiest. So like the corporatized 70, 60 scheme just makes it look all that more ugly in my opinion. There we go, for comparison, you be the judge is which one was the ugliest. <laughs> but anyway, 
that is the 419 from Backman Branch Line. Uh, I, we have a few of these in store. They have proven to be popular in the very short period of time we've had them. So if you want to get your hands on one, uh, you can either buy them in store or order them online. And any order over $100 is postage free within Australia. Uh, in the meantime, happy modeling. And until next time, cheerio. See ya. Bye.